Did you know that JotForm tables can be a one-stop shop to boost efficiency in your entire organization? Well, let me show you how with JotForm tables advanced features. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as I mentioned, you can boost your overall efficiency utilizing JotForm tables plus the advanced features that it offers. So let's go ahead and get started. For this example, I'm gonna use my very top one, the appointment request. Let's go ahead and do more and head over to our submissions. And if you've utilized JotForm tables before, you know that all of that submission data that comes from your users is going to come straight into a spreadsheet style just like this. Now, one of the great things about JotForm tables is you can customize the columns, which means you can rename, move around, but you can add your own columns. So you can see over on the far right hand side, we have the ability to add a column. And from here, we can add short text, long text, we can add email address, date and time, we can add number, phone number. My favorite is the checkbox, so that way I can check off when things have been completed. Now, while we're here, another thing that we can do as an advanced feature is we can pull in that second column right here, advanced formulas. So right here, we can choose to add in an advanced formula column. I'm gonna go ahead and choose next, and then we can title it. I'm gonna call this one total, because over on the right-hand side, you can see I have the total of their service plus the gratuity that they left. I wanna add a column that gives me the entire amount that they paid. So from here, I can choose the service price, and then on the right hand side, we can see all of the functions and basic operations. So I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a basic plus sign. And then again, over on the left, we can choose another one of our columns. So we have service plus gratuity. We can create that column and we see the final total over on the right hand side. Now, another advanced function is you can add an assignee. And that was one of the columns that we could add, but you can see I already have it right up here. So as someone is booking an appointment, I can add an assignee from my chosen column. So this could be someone who is performing the service or overseeing it. And as you can see, if we maybe add in a new stylist, we can always invite them straight from here by email. And we can also edit who has access from right here as well. Now, if I click out of this, another thing that we can do is at a glance, we can create an instant report. Now you probably know that we can come up here to do add tad and we can create a report right from here. However, we can come up to specific columns. So this one, we can see it has different tags. We can choose on that drop down menu. We can do summarize with a chart and we get a nice bar chart of who said yes, and who said no. Now keep in mind, not every column is going to have a chart. Next up, JotForm tables makes it really easy to share data with others. So in the top right hand corner, we're gonna to choose to share. Now, right now it is a private table. We can come over here to our share settings and we can change that up. If we want it to be a public table, we can do that. But of course, it's only going to be read only access. No one's going to be able to edit or collaborate on your table. And then if you need company access just for the people in your organization, you can do that. But for this example, let's go ahead and keep it as a private table. We can have someone be a collaborator and we also have some limitations at the bottom. If we head back, we can either copy this link to send through official communication channels or we can invite individually by email. But let's go ahead and exit out of this. Another advanced feature within our tables is the ability to group and filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the filter option. And let's say I want to know which one of my stylist has appointments this week. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose assignee and then we can choose include Includes, and then we can choose which stylus we're going to filter out. We'll choose apply. And it looks like we have one person for this stylus. Now we can also create a new tab. So if I do create tab, we can name this after the stylist and we can create tab. And now we have a stylus for Kimberly P right up here so we can see all of her clients in one space. Now, if you're like me, you like to collect a lot of data and sometimes we have to scroll back and forth to see all of the data. Well, you can actually just hover over the date and click on view and you have it all in one succinct place. Now, another thing that you can do is right up here, we see all changes saved and there's like a little circle. If we click here, we get access to the revision history. So if we made a mistake and we need to go back, we can absolutely do that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and click out of this. We can also access the revision history by clicking on the drop down and viewing the revision history. Now, if for any reason I need the PDF version of this person right here, I can click on the three dots. I can click on download and then download as a PDF. And here is that client's information. All right, let's go ahead and head back for one more advanced feature. You can actually connect forms and tables together. So what we can do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this filter, bring us back to the main screen, and I'm gonna head over to the far right. Let's go ahead and do add connection, and we can either connect a form or a table together. So let's say, let's go ahead and connect a form and I'm gonna connect a form that is related to this one. So this one is the appointment request and this one is going to be the follow-up. We're gonna get data from our appointment follow-up and we're gonna to choose to add in how their service was. And we can go and create column. So once they complete that form and they leave us a review, instead of having to jump back and forth between tables, we can have all that data right here in one. And you can see at the top, we have that appointment follow-up table right up here for easy view if needed, but it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about JotForm Table's advanced features, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.